Hello everyone, this is Yasser and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Git Bash Terminal for Mac and also how to switch to Git Bash Terminal from your default terminal in M1 and M2. So let's get started. We open Google Chrome, we write Git Bash for Mac in search bar. We enter it and we go on the first link on the page download and as we come to the next page we go down to the binary installer and this is a this is very easy and very straightforward way to download git bash we click on installer we click on download so we are going to wait five seconds before we start start downloading the file as you can see the file is here we will open the file we will start downloading if you see this message, it says cannot be open because it is from an unidentified developer and mo most Mac users will see this message. So we say, okay, we go to system preference we and we open security and privacy. And you can see the same message here it was blocked from you because it is not from an identified developer. We will open it anyways. We will continue with the default settings. We install the file, it will ask you for your password and then you enter your password and it shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Yeah, there you go, our Git Bash is ready to go. So how to open Git Bash now? So we go on the top right corner, in a search bar, we write terminal, we write terminal, As you can see, we have our default terminal here. It's, it's my computer name, and then you have Z shell terminal, and it's a default terminal in Mac. So what you have to do, how you can switch this Z shell terminal to Git Bash terminal. It's very simple. All you have to do, go on the, te on the left top corner, where it says terminal, click on terminal, go on preference, and you come to this tab. As you can see, it says default login shell, we will change it to the git bash. So command complete, and then we go to, we write bash here, and we close this tab again, we close our terminal, and then we're gonna open our terminal again. So git bash is ready. So if you want to know if the git bash is properly installed, all you have to do, just write git command and enter. If you are seeing this message, it means your git bash is ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel and hit a like button. And if you can leave me a feedback, that would be much appreciated. See you in the next video.